if you do not have a credit card reader, you need to get one because you will lose out on a lot of money. So you're curious about how much money you can expect to make at a craft show selling crochet items. Uh, so I'm going to tell you how much I made at my last craft show and uh, I will tell you what I sold and for how much and you can check out the video link in the cards on whatever side uh, what these products actually look like. This video I'm just going to tell you what I made and how much I sold it for so if you want to like put like a face to the name basically go watch that other video and it'll give you a little more context. Um, now this is a market that I did Saturday, uh, last Saturday, what day was that? The 15th in Inverness, Florida. Um, so yeah, these are my items and my prices and I'll let you know how much I made. The first thing that sold, uh, was kind of a trade, not a sale. It was two scrunchies. A vendor I met, uh, was selling cactuses and we decided that we were going to, she came over to buy something. Um, so I'm including it anyway, but she came over to buy scrunchies because I have crochet scrunchies and I liked her cactuses. So I asked if we could do like a product trade instead. So they took, cause it was two women, two scrunchies in exchange for this cactus and this planter. Uh, my two scrunchies are worth $10. They have this cactus priced at $10, including the pot, which I was surprised about. Um, and yeah, I named him Jeffrey. So my first sale was actually this as payment. And I'm gonna put him back down and we'll move on. The second item that sold were uh, was my B keychain. I sell all my keychains for $15. So he was a $15 item. The next thing that sold was my plush cow. He was $35. Uh, the next thing after that was uh, a dinosaur. That dinosaur was priced at $15. Um, I actually don't remember which dinosaur that was. I think that was my new Triceratops, the little green one. Um, so you could go see in the last video because I made two dinosaurs and one was bigger. So the bigger one was $20. So yeah, I think that's the green little tri Triceratops, which is a free pattern, by the way. Um, the next thing that sold was Sunny the Egg. You can find that pattern on Etsy. That sold for $20. The next thing that sold was my mushroom. Uh, my mushroom I priced at $9 and you can find that tutorial linked in the cards and in the description also if you want to make that uh, first event I brought it to and it was one of the first items to sell. Uh, the next item I sold was my peat plushie uh, which I'm glad it sold because that was actually an Easter item and you might have noticed it's after Easter so if you watch my video where I'm showing you everything I made and my prices I uh, said that it was $30 but I was thinking about lowering the price and I did not lower the price and it did sell for the $30. So I'm really glad that I didn't lower the price because I would have like basically cheated myself out of money. And then the next item that sold was my skunk. That is a pattern that is like a three in one pattern pack called like forest trios on Etsy. Um, my possum did really well when I brought it. I just didn't have enough time to make it for this event, but that's a good pattern combo. He sold for $20, I did not say that. Uh, the next item that sold was a chocolate covered strawberry for $9. And then the final thing that sold was one of my regular mini octos and I sold it for $5. And so that's a total of 10 sales. And this was actually a really relatively short market. Um, in fact, it was the shortest one I've ever done. It only ran 11 to three. So I think 10 sales in uh, a four hour market, not too shabby. So the total amount of money I made was da -da -da, $165 and four cents. Saturday market in Inverness. It was the first market at this particular location. Uh, and I made $165 and four cents. Um, they like publicized the event pretty well and it was at a nice location. It's actually a wedding venue. Um, so I think this is a good test run to see you roundabouts how much you have a potential to make because while it wasn't like you know a killer day that's a decent amount of money for such a short market and it's a new market so it's not like it has that like you know reputation of being good so i think this is like pretty average numbers that you can like set as like a baseline you feel me um and i will say 121 dollars and 53 of those sales were through my square card reader so if you do not have a credit card reader you need to get one because you will lose out on a lot of money.
if you don't take cards. Um, my cash sales were only $43.51. And on this particular day, I had no one that was interested in paying through Venmo, uh, Venmo Cash App, PayPal, none of those. Um, I've received payment through those before, but this one, no one was interested. So if I did not have my square reader, I would have basically shot myself in the foot and lost out on $121.53 worth of sales. So get you a card reader, it'll be linked below. Definitely necessary. Like if there's all the things that you can do without, like vertical displays, I think you could do without those, honestly. A big banner that I had, I think you could do without that. Um, of all the things that are like necessary, but not really necessary, uh, the square reader or any kind of card reader is not one of them. That is like non-negotiable. You should have that because it will help you be able to make more sales. Um, spiel over. But that is it for this video. And stick around for my next video. I'll let you know how much I made at the market on Sunday. Uh, that market is one that happens monthly. So you can kind of see what it's like to sell at a market that happens frequently, whether that affects your sales positively or negatively. So I will see you guys then. Bye.